First town hall on gun violence prevention tonight. Congressman Maxwell Frost says he needs the community's help to save lives. West News Tonight, Kevin Gettiga shows us how families and local leaders joined him to talk about their plan to fight the deadly problem. The greatest definition of justice has nothing to do with putting people behind bars and everything to do with ensuring it never happens again. Congressman Frost has put gun violence prevention at the heart of his political platform, and he's committed to seeing it through. Every shooting that happens every day pushes us to ensure that we do something. He held his first town hall on the issue in the Carver Shores neighborhood Thursday night. Among the crowd were local leaders like commissioners, state attorney Monique Royal and Sheriff John Mina. Families of shooting victims were there to shed light on the impact. Tiana Judy Ruby Major. A moment of silence was held for all the lives lost. In law enforcement, in the state attorney's office, we can only respond to gun violence after it happens. As a community, we have to put things in place to stop it from happening in the first place. Speakers on the panel answered questions from the audience through written notes, mental health, legislation to ban assault rifles, and addressing root causes of shootings were part of the discussion. Because if I can get to the why, then that's the start, the beginning of trust, right? And then I can get to the what's next. What can I do to prevent you from falling into the same circumstances? We heard mixed reaction from the audience. I saw their heart. I saw the passion, um, even though they might not have had so many answers, but they let me know that they care. It's the people. They're, they're the ones pulling the trigger and, and they're killing people. I want to be able to protect myself, you know, and a gun is going to help me to do that. Rep Frost is sponsoring a bill to create a gun violence prevention office under the Department of Justice. It would collect and explore data on shootings and then find ways to change the law to prevent them in the future. His challenge is to get Republican lawmakers to join him in his fight. We just got to keep pushing and part of this has to do with the people pushing as well. Whether it's protesting, writing letters, ensuring you're voting for people who are actually going to vote for your self-interest and your kids and your community, um, all of that matters. In Orlando, Sanai Gebregetigas, Wash 2 News. Representative Frost is inviting people to join him for his next town hall later this month, who hosted at Dr. Phillips High School on June 28th at 6 p.m.